Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Well, good morning. At 17 hours and 38 minutes into the day, and it's about 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the afternoon, well, heading towards evening now, it's already dark outside. Oh, uh, and we're just getting the day started. Today is kind of my day off. Although, it's not going to behave like a day off in terms of not doing anything. I am going to do things. Uh, so we're going to begin our day with the YouTube stroll. Uh, that way, as we come in at night, we'll probably be doing the, um, you know, going, move, moving towards cartoons and so on and so forth. And that. Uh... So this is sort of a wake-up call. This is, uh, you know, you know, 17 hours and 39 minutes into the first day of December 2021. We are officially now in Vlogmas. And, of course, we vlog every day anyways, but <laughs> you're going to see this uh, uh, quite soon because um, I'm catching up in my editing. I'm catching up in my posting, so that means... Uh, uh, more continuous vlogs, so, uh, yay for that, uh, there is going to be more content, there is going to be, uh, 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 the vlogging will begin sooner than later, <laughs> if you will. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and I'll see you in the transitions outside. Uh, uh the, the system is working very well, so if I tested that out. I used it last night, I... Heard the playback. Oh, very good. Very happy with it. So, um, onwards and upwards. Time for breakfast. Well, it is uh, one hour and forty minutes into the second day of December, and we're out here. We're gonna uh, go inside in a few minutes. I've already done the YouTube stroll. I've more or less finished it. Uh, I will go over some of the videos once again just to use them as reruns. So as, as I'm eating, I'll have my, 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 my lunch or dinner in there. Um, no trains have come by. I fixed up the the, the uh, sound system here, so uh, things are being mic'd very well. I can sort of see the uh, the interplay on the uh, VU meter. So I kind of I gotta figure out what's going on and uh, hear how it sounds. Anyways, uh, Allie's been absent in the in the Yowie vlogs, where Carly is, is more or less, she's always there in, in, in the Our Family Nest vlogs. It, it, is that I'm watching to see how these how these how how they do as they go from teenagers into uh, basically uh, young adults as uh, college students, because this is where things a lot of things fall off. I know Clay Leah has done well. Uh, she has done well, and well, we're in the we're in the transition section. This is the start stuff that's done inside, uh, and it's primarily my, my the main thing which I do, and that's the YouTube stroll. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, the adults are struggling in terms of uh, where they go next because, in many cases, for most of the family channels, their bread and butter, the attraction, were the kids. When the kids are no longer there, how do you transition your channel from what it was to something new now? And maintain the audience that you and again this is something that TV TV channels struggle with all the time. This is what what Lionel talks about. As he was a media lawyer, he still is now a media lawyer. And so he's heavily involved. That's why he has an Emmy. He's involved in television television and radio. He knows the, the entertainment business, the business aspect of the entertainment. And so this is where he is, this is how he sort of adjusts what he does and how he is. Uh, is through the sense of media, through the sense of uh, how to entertain people, and again, how trends shift. And right now, we're in another trend shift. We're in a major trend shift where one era is dying and quickly going out, and the new era is coming in. But the thing is, what's going to be the new era? No one has been ever been able. I think no one's ever been able to predict what's going to come ahead. There's always something that comes in. We go into a period of flux, and then. And it's, you know, you just choose any, meeny, mine, and woe, and you're not going to know which one comes out <laughs> the, the, the winner in terms of what's going to be the next thing. It's just, we, we've never been able to predict anything. I mean, 
to give you an example, Newton wasn't discovered while he was working on his works on physics and calculus. It was afterwards. He had done the work as, as an alchemist. Same thing with Leibniz. Uh, Einstein did his major work as a patent clerk. Academia has never been able to pick the winners. And this, the academia is the academia right now, in terms of the humanists, are the uh, vassal state, that they're the priests of the vassal state. The, where, if you, let's say you had a religion like, like, like Roman Catholicism or something like that, you'd have your priests, you have your bishop, and so on. The, the, the higher ups, your, your theologians. This is, <laughs> I'm tripping over because there's a lot of different things here. The way I want to phrase this is the schools of academia, the halls of academia that produce the prophets of the humanist world were initially theological schools. They were set up by the church, either the Protestant church or the Catholic church. So this is who set them up. And as time shifted, one went from Catholic to Protestant to humanist. And that's where they are now, the humanists. But the humanist is dying out. We are no longer in a modernist phase. We're in a postmodernist phase. Postmodern is anti-establishment deconstruction. Deconstruction is your, well, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, all the riots you're seeing in the street. That's deconstruction. I said you have the, the, the academic perspective, then you have the reality that's out on the street. Two different things. And I think as these transitions affect everybody, everyone has everybody. Everybody in life goes through transitions, and it's the, and, it, and it's the most frightening thing in the world because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how things are going to work out. For me, I have my Eastern Eastern Christian path, and it is Eastern because it follows the path. It is not by rule. It's not by law. It's something I choose to do, and in this choice. I have experienced uh, support from, well, what I would say, above in manners that I cannot describe, but I know it's there. So I have more of a comfort than other people do. It still gets, when everything's changed and there's a shift in things, I, I'm always uneasy about things because things always do go wrong. Anytime something changes, things go wrong. You can always expect things to go wrong when things change. That's a standard. And it never feels better. It <laughs> doesn't matter how many times you go through it, it never feels better. What happens is, is that because you've been through things enough, you have with, with experience, you have a sense, okay, yeah, okay, things are going bad right now, but give it some time and things will get better. This has been my experience. And it's been, it gets better not because of the things I do, it's because of the situations that go around on around me. When I think when things go bad, I say, "Okay, let's go back to basis. Let's go back to my bunker, and let's start all over again. Let's go step by step." And as I do that, things end up turning out, turning around. Within a month or so, things are back to where they normally are, and we're heading on up. But the thing is, is it's a matter. As I said a month or two, uh, and this is what happens. With, we want, I'm seeing the same thing with Carly. I'm seeing the same thing with Allie, and we'll see how they end up turning out. Where it ends up going. Because we've got a few years before they sort of really have to make some degree of choice. Because uh, basically, uh, first uh, undergrad, particularly first and second year, are very really years of fluctuation. They're not; so, they haven't been solidified. So we've got two years of uncertainty, and then usually your third and fourth year, that's when things start to click together, and you have a uh, larger sense of of self, a more organized thing. Unless, of course, you choose to do what I do. And go into exploration, then you're throwing caution to the wind. All your standards go out the door, uh, and you're now pushing towards the edge where no wind's been before. And, or you, and more particularly, that you haven't been before. You're going into the unknown. So you're going right back down to middle school again, and you're basically a tween, a, a tween for life. You know, or, or my case, because I'm going for immortality, my Eastern, my Eastern Christian path has the option of immortality in it. So if I go for immortality, then it's uh, an infinite tween. I'll always be a tween. Because knowledge is asymptotic, it's infinite, and so you never actually reach the point of full knowledge, of absolute knowledge. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's it for now, and uh, I will head inside and 
make myself a bowl of cereal. It looks like it's going to be uh, 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 Frosted Flakes for tonight. Well, here I go again, missing days. Uh, I thought today was the third, but it's not the third. It's, it's only the second. It's uh, thir uh, 13 hours and 13 minutes into the second day uh, of December 2021. We are now in our formal, uh, formally within uh, Vlogmas. Uh, I started Vlogmas in uh, November, just around November 11th, uh, and then um, uh, we're doing Vlogmas all the way until February 1st, so uh, actually fundamentally we're on, on our break, this is the winter break right now where it's time to uh, review our notes, go over the notes, redo the notes, uh, so that's kind of where we are now, I'm on my break. Uh, this is the pit stop, if you will, uh, from the other realm where I'm doing my work, <laughs> doing the research. Uh, I've got some ancient writing that I need to go, go into in terms of scripts for about dreams and so on and so forth. Uh, that I think would be more interesting, but... It's where I do a lot of my thinking, uh, sort of the, in sort of, again, I think my whole life is sort of like that, is that, you know, I live within my mind, I do a lot of studying, so it's, it's more of an introverted type of life, and that's where, uh, I guess, going to uh, different parties and baptisms and so on and so forth, different social events is a little difficult, because you have to switch from the introverted mode to an, ex to an, Extroverted mode, extroverted mode, uh, which is not that easy. It's not easy to sort of disconnect from where you are and go to somewhere else. Uh, so there's always that transition period, and it really t depends on how long it takes to sort of uh, transition. That sort of gets you from point to point. Uh, I never quite was able to sort of fully transition. Uh, Things were always sort of uh, you know, circumspect, where you felt like you were, like if you were a captain on a ship, you're out sailing and so on and so forth. You do, you're doing this explorer stuff, and maybe a spaceship or maybe uh, a sailing ship on the ocean, and you're going out to new distant lands that you've never been before. Uh, it's always uh, sort of a, 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 a task in many ways in terms of. What's on, what's weighing on your mind, and so your attention is temp typically to the to the minute details. You very rarely have a chance to sort of sit back and sort of look over the railing uh, uh, and see what's what you're sailing into. You know, take take taking uh, well taking a moment to take stock. <laughs> you know, this is this is kind of uh, where we are in terms of our pit stop is we're taking a moment to take take stock. But this is what parties are as well. They're, they're, you're looking over the railing. You, you don't have anything to do, really. There's no nothing pressing. You, you've you left stuff that was, was pressing. And you just sort of say, okay, I'll, I'll get back to it when I get back to it. Uh, type of thing. You know, the, the party's not going to last that long. It's only for a brief period of time. So you leave and uh, whatever social event you go to, that's, that's what it is. But again, at the same time, because you have a difficult time with the social aspect, this is where... A large chunk of the disconnect comes into. You end up getting finding yourself alone, sort of sitting outside, and just enjoying the outside, uh, just to be outside for no other particular reason. Then that, that then it's no longer simply a chore. It's not part of your job. It's not part of the exploration that you have this time. to sort of sort of you will peruse long, so you're now out of the library into into reality. Uh, and this is kind of where I am now. This is uh, what the pit stop is. And uh, now I'm going back in uh, to other realms. And uh, we'll see what adventures lie there. So I'll see you later t on tonight for uh, the transition section that uh, where I'm outside. Uh, well, my new research desk, which is going to be uh, uh, outside doing my observational work. So that's going to be my, uh, uh, my fourth research desk here in Toronto 
I have more. I have another one up north. Uh, I've got to fix that up. Well, that's gonna, but that's not gonna start until April. So right now, it's just uh, here. Longer than anticipated, but still uh, within reason, anyways. It's always difficult to sort of know when these, when, how much time you've actually spent. Uh, particularly, I've had to break the video up into two different components uh, in order to do a sound, a proper sound check. Uh, so we're now, it's, let's see, it's it's uh, thirty nine minutes or forty minutes into the uh, third day of December, uh, two thousand twenty one, and we are now in our transition section. We're getting back in. Uh, I've decided to sort of start posting some of the uh, the experiences I have out here. Uh, to Snapchat and then to uh, uh, to what should call it to uh, my Instagram so that people can see this. I try uh, trying a new site called Crypt, uh, Crypto Democracy or something like that. It's one of these new uh, things like Twitter that's supposed to be unbiased and open. But uh, I just got a I didn't read it, but I got a notification from the administration as uh, something gone wrong. It's a, it's a red flag or something like that. <laughs> the thing is, so I don't think that this is going to be pretty much an open site. I think it's going to be a closed thing, and uh, that's going to be the end of it. Uh, this is, what happens is they, in the, on the front they say they're open, but they're only open under certain conditions. In order to be in order to be properly open, you have to be open. Period. Not simply going, you know, oh, you have to be open on my conditions. We are tolerant, except for <laughs> these are oxymorons. They're not. They're not. This is. You're not an open. If you have, we're open, but you're not an open person. It's that simple. Anyways, uh, I don't have that much more to say out here. It's just, we've had good trains tonight, and I did record some of them, but not enough. But anyways, <laughs> the way things go, sometimes things work out, and other times things don't work out. I mean, in terms in terms of my experience out here, and this is. I talk about Carly and talk about you know trying to trying to help out Allie from uh, uh, Allie Tannerites uh, from Allie uh, 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 well from the Yowie vlogs Allie, Allie Annie Tannerite Allie Ta Allie Tannerite. It's hard when you get down when your dreams get crushed. This was a, a post uh, from the Yowie vlogs on Allie's uh, dream to become. A Disney princess, which was recently crushed uh, because the official channels have closed. Uh, but I pointed out that there is a lot of unofficial channels as well. That there is another number of different ways of, of, of shifting your dreams to meet not necessarily the intended plan, but get to the end goal of uh, of being a Disney princess, but just not necessarily on the initial plan, initial path that you had chosen. Because uh, sometimes it shuts down. There's no other way around, and so. Now you have to scramble around and find a new path. But this, again, this is not going to be something that's easy. There, there are a number of challenges to shift her audience from uh, what, what it is now uh, to the Disney aspect of things and then move forward from there. But again, it depends on how she thinks she th sees things, her level of perseverance. She may have given up already, and then that would be the end of it. Uh, don't know, because... Uh, she seems to be okay when she talks in in, in, in the vlogs, the Yowie vlogs, but uh, it doesn't seem like she seems it doesn't seem seem like she has hope anymore. And when a person becomes defeated like that, it's hard to get them moving again. And this is kind of you don't you don't like to see that you don't I want to see people succeed, and and it's for no other reason I want to see the person happy. I want to see them you know be happy with with, with what's going on in their life. I don't want people to be upset and stuff like that. There's enough depression in life. And I think it's not about money or anything like that. It just it's not nice to see a person like that. And the same thing with Carly. You see Carly she's she's struggling and everything like that. she's struggling. Uh same thing, same identity crisis, but a different reasons. You know, every, she had a house last year she had a house full of people. In in less than a couple months all of her brothers moved out. She had three brothers. Andrew uh, Chase and Andrew Chase and um, uh, uh, Blake, they all moved out all at once. And so it went from a house of, uh, let's see, uh, 
mom, dad, Carly, three brothers, a house of six people with the girlfriends. They each had girlfriends. And they all moved out. So it went from six to three. And now you see the vlogs are much quieter because the other people aren't there milling about. And so that causes a huge shift in your sort of your social contact. And you see that that Carly and even the mother is struggling with this massive shift in how life has gone in terms of their transition from one point to the next point. And this comes up in the vlog. It comes up in how they're trying, going to try to shift the vlog to something else or, or whatever they're going to do with it. But the thing is, what happens sometimes you have to go back to what you did initially. And this is where the uh, our family and Ness can do this because our family and Ness was initially Carly and the mother together talking back and forth, doing different things. And it's kind of gone back to the same thing. So that's the same formula that was there before. And it works. It works. So you go with what works and then you sort of evolve from there. But the thing is, is being happy with the transition, understand that this is what the transition is, and then working forward from there. But again, it's a difficult thing. All transitions are difficult. They're not easy to do. Uh, so uh, speaking of transition, I'm going back in to do to start the YouTube stroll all over again and uh, have something to eat. All righty. See you in a couple hours, maybe, for, well, more than a couple hours. Uh, see you in a few hours, probably for the uh, morning pit stop. That's when I saw you last as a, at the pit stop. And we'll go from there. All right. Take it easy. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life.